When the news broke earlier this week that the Austin government and the police union would return to the negotiating table for a police contract, it made waves in the capital city. March 31st will mark a full year without a police contract, and it's been nearly 10 months since voters approved the Austin Police Oversight Act from Equity Action, Criminal Justice Reform Group. Chris Harris is the board president of Equity Action, which is in the middle of a lawsuit with the city for not fully implementing that proposition. Things particularly that the city could be doing today, they don't need a contract to do, are things like stop hiding uh, information about police conduct simply because it hasn't resulted in the highest forms of discipline, suspension, firing or demotion. On the other side of those negotiations is the Austin Police Association. Michael Bullock is its president. I think we have a way that this can be accomplished that balances both, but doesn't force officers to agree to things that are going to be a detriment to them. So I think there is a way that this can all be worked out. Obviously, the details are still yet to come, but we have found a way that I think that can be accomplished. When I asked if he could share details on that path, he says that's something APA will share at the negotiating table, but that that breakthrough is what re-sparked the return to negotiating. He says the election night victory of Travis County District Attorney Jose Garza, who ran on a platform of police accountability, didn't affect that decision to return to negotiations. Is there anything in specific that you would like to see in a police contract that's negotiated? Obviously, you've run on a platform of more accountability for police. Yeah, I think I will just note um, that voters have spoken overwhelmingly about their interest and desire to see increased oversight. Details of how negotiations will work are still being decided by the city and the police association. They're set to begin next week on March 13th. But there's no telling how long they'll last or even whether an agreed upon contract is guaranteed. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.